Welcome. Hello, hello. Well, we haven't done one of these in a while. Oops, sorry. Well, we haven't done one of these in a while. Hold on. Ah, that's better. Now I don't have an echo. This way it gives everybody a chance to know that we're live. And hopefully we can have some fun. We haven't done one of these in a while. Although I think it was May was the last one we did before the move because it's just been that kind of crazy. So give me a heads up, everybody or anybody who shows up. And you want to see some pretty, pretty. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Can you hear me? Lynn, can you hear me? I know it's been a long day. Oh, good. Just making sure. I couldn't possibly try to do this at the shop. I have to get another setup at the shop because all of my equipment is here um, since the move, but I'll figure it out. Hi, Kim. How are you? All right. We're going to start really quick and we'll start with the first one. This is called Cat's Tales. And I don't have the whole line. I have the main fabric and the pattern. 
Can you see that? It's a library corner. Isn't it cute? And then I'm going to show you the fabric, which is even better. Check this out. If you're a cat person, I'm not a cat person. Yes, I raised Miss Abby, um, but I'm not a cat person. This is, by the way, all my fabrics. I got all my fabric first. The only thing I didn't bring in was the standard shimmer from Northcott, which um, everybody knows what that is. I posted it on Facebook too. Uh, let's see if you can see, can you see? Isn't he cute? They're cats on a library shelf. Aren't they adorable? So this fabric. And then I have the pattern, which I just think it's cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm a book nerd myself. So I got some to show you. All right, now we're going to go to my real favorite. Oh, my God. And by the way, I still have a ton to do in my home studio. Like, this is my home studio. This is just a teeny corner of my home studio because I still have a ton of boxes that way. But what are you going to do? Hey, Linda, how are you? I have a lot still to do. I mean, it's not as bad. I probably have got it down to maybe it was 75 boxes a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I think I'm down to 40-ish boxes. So I have gotten a lot done. Not, you know, my normal standards, but I'm getting old. So what can I say? Okay, this is the next one. I'm going to show you the patterns first, which I love. You know me. If it's bling, I'm good. Can't have enough bling. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? That's the main panel, which is a 24-inch panel. And this pattern shows you how to do all these pretty butterflies and this, like, dash border. And it doesn't look as good on camera. Trust me, you definitely want to see this one. Oops, I'm sorry. I forgot a couple of more patterns. Hold on. Here's the other one, which is two different sets of stars going around. And then the borders. Can you see that good? And then the final one is paper piecing. And the reason I like this one is because this could be done with any fabric. I, it's called Prismatic, and I really like this one. I think this one's kind of cool, but it could be done with any fabric. So the main fabric, I'll show you all which one that is. is let's see. Do I have it? I mean, I have it in the bag, so I'll show you. But the main fabric is like six yards. So this is almost like a stack and whack kind of idea but it's paper piecing. It's really pretty. I like it. It's got a few, you know, background pieces. And then it's the one main fabric that you cut very specifically to get that kind of complete. And I'll do a close up, but I just want to try and get as much of the panel as possible. Isn't that pretty? I love, 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 love this. Okay. Let's see. Look at this intricate detailed design on the top. And then what you can't, hopefully you can see this on um, the camera. Look at the gold background design. Just that it's highlighted like a tone on tone, white on white, and then it's highlighted with the gold metallic. 
Look at the detail in the dragonfly. Same thing with the butterfly. Look at all this detail. And then we've got a moth at the bottom. And then, of course, you've got more of that pretty filigree type of design at the bottom. There is a fabric that just has the design, the filigree from the top and the bottom on it. Let's see if I can show you that one next. Um, hold on. Bear with me. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can see they're kind of, the, the dragonflies are right here. And it's everything is outlined in beautiful metallic. And this is North Cot fabric. So the quality is impeccable. When you come in and you feel this, it's just super smooth and silky. It's beautiful. They almost look like teardrop pendants. Like I almost want to see, have you ever seen like somebody do a crystal um, pendant with the dragonfly wings attached? It really is pretty. So that's one. And then here is, this is yardage. It may look like it's a panel, but it's actually yardage. And when I tell you that this is not going to be around long, Trust me, it's not going to be around long, okay? And I'll show you why. I'm going to have to open this one up because that's the only way you're going to see the whole thing. This is yardage. So let's see, is there a top and a bottom? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Here's what I would consider the salvage on the top of the fabric. And then look at it going all the way down. There is just absolutely beautiful design on this. The entire, anywhere in this fabric, like literally, you could cut anywhere in this fabric and be good. Ah. And it's nothing but teals and navy blues with dragonflies, hints of dragonflies and peacock feathers with all of the little bit of gold metallic. What do you think of that one? I could even see just this as a top of a design or a bag even. Can you imagine? So you could cut a portion of this for a bag and then keep your salvage for like a trim on a bag. Ooh, 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 ideas and the wheels are forming. Are you guys still with me? <laughs> Linda, good, I'm glad. Cause I was getting ready to think that nobody was liking it or you guys were all gone. <laughs> because nobody was saying anything. Here I am drooling all day on this fabric. Well, not all day, just since the afternoon when it came in. Um, and I was very surprised nobody else came in today. I gave everybody as quick a notice as possible. Yes, I have two yards of everything on it in my stash. Which is kind of good that nobody came in because then I didn't forget to do mine first. It is gorgeous though. And this, I believe, this fabric that I just showed you, the one I'm trying to fold up nice and neat, is the fabric that is used in the prism quilt. I know, Linda, worst timing. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I wasn't expecting it all day. They said it wasn't coming until tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, the UPS man showed up at my door with three large cases of fabric. 
All right, let's see the next one. Now, the next one is kind of like that one, too. It's almost like an ombre, but I'm not going to open this one up only because it's a pain in the butt to fold it. But I'll start with the top. I don't know if you like peacock feathers. I'm not a huge. Yes, I only did two yards of everything. I was good. And only one yard of the cat because I'm not a super cat person. But I thought it was cute. Um, this one's kind of an ombre. I'm not a huge peacock fan. But in this line, it, it works really well. So we've got peacock feathers with this white on the top. So this is the top of the salvage here. And then as you go down, they get bluer and bluer. And when you turn it over, there are the feathers. So I'll show this to you. Let's see. And again, I have all the shimmer that I posted on Facebook and in the shop too. I just didn't bring it all because that's pretty much everybody's seen that. So here we have the tip of the feathers on the white. And as it goes down, you get more blue coloring coming through. Blue and teal. And then when you turn it over, it gets darker teal and darker teal and navy blue. Until you just get into this bottom part, which is kind of like just the tip of the feathers. I think it's gorgeous. I don't I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. And yes, I have one of all the patterns too, but we'll have to see. I feel like this was my, this was my, uh, what do you call it? My bonus or my present for all the crap of moving. And I had a great time with the kids yesterday. They were all my babies. And I got to babysit. But the condo that they're in is at night, like nine bedrooms, two floors, and I don't know, four or five bathrooms. And its own pool. Well, I had to chase the kids up and down the stairs like four or five times before I finally put them to bed. And uh, Sunday night, and my knee was done in after that. I forgot what it was like to do stairs after so many years here with a single story. It was very painful, especially walking around Epcot, and it, it wasn't good. So I called it early and came home and iced my knee all right i know it's hard to tell but i'll give you a close-up of this one this one is a peacock feather toss and these all have gold metallics i don't know if you can tell see the peacock feather right in here with all the just different feathered highlights, a little bit here and there. I know quite a few customers love this kind of citrine green or lime green, whatever you want to call it. And it is the perfect pop for these blues. There is no um, direction, fabric direction with that one. They go all over. So these two are my least favorite, but you need the contrast. So here we have the green feathered tip and the blue and green feathered tip. Isn't it pretty though? I mean, it's good. It's great um, texture. And I still think there's a, enough tone on tone in here that you could actually use this as a green because, or the other one as a blue too. I mean, look at it from here. It, it reads green to me. So, I mean, it's not like it's too patterny. That Does that make sense? All right, next, I, I like this one too. This is, butterfly wings and again there's no direction on this one either 
So let me set this one up for you. It's a tea, it's so soft. I've been petting fabric and petting fabric. All right, let's do it up close so you can see. See all the butterfly wings. Isn't that pretty? This has just got a little hint of the green. And it's rest of its teals to navy blue with all the gold metallic. I know. What can I say? If uh, let me tell you, Linda, if this came in purple, you know I would have bought it too. <laughs> all right, now these two are really. You know the funny thing is, I'm not a huge these last three. Like dragonflies are not my favorite, but whenever Northcott does it, they're gorgeous. I mean, and I do mean gorgeous. Okay, let's see this one. I know it's gonna be hard to tell. These, I'm so glad the camera that, that I can show you this the close up is here because these have some gorgeous metallics in the background that make up the background pattern. So we have this like light teal with dragonflies and we have white with dragonflies, but this is when the fun is gonna happen. Let me show the close up. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Can you see all the gold metallic in the background that make up a whole nother design? So like we've got plants, we've got the outline of the dragonfly's wings, we've got little peacock feathers, and um, they may not even be feathers, they may be more like um, finials. Let me see if I can, so you can see what I'm talking about. See the finial? Isn't that pretty? Same thing with the mint or light teal, whatever you want to call it. It's got that gold, metallic gold in the background. And let me tell you, it would not take a lot of this, kind of like we did the turtle bag, to do that pop in the center of the bag. A little bit of this would probably go a long way. And then the final one I have is kind of a geometric And there is no right or wrong to it, but it has that that almost that same finial type design with the dragonflies interspersed in the teal and the green and the gold metallic. Isn't it pretty though? I love it. I can't help it. I love it all. That's why it's in my stash already. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> well, that's it for me. I got it all done. Now I get to go take care of my dad. Does anybody have any questions before I skedaddle? I'm open tomorrow, 10 to 7. So you have plenty of time. Those who have done, who uh, have pre-ordered, they'll be ready for pickup very quickly early in the morning because I'll just package them with all my other orders. All right. And it's all up on the website. So for those of you who aren't local, you could still get it. Anybody have any questions, comments? Oh, I can hear Nola in the background. The new shop, Kim, is 4310 South Washington Avenue. You know where Elian Cito's is on Route 1 and the BP gas station? I'm in the end cap at the BP gas station. Yeah, we've got, what, two, we've got one. I didn't hear anything now. I thought it was supposed to be at 530, the, one of the launches tonight. And then we've got one tomorrow and one on Thursday. So it's going to be a busy rocket day. They were already lining up again at the shop before I left to watch the launch. 
All right, if that's okay with you, I'm going to skedaddle. I got to take care of my dad. Ugh, it's like having another toddler. So yeah, babysitting two toddlers a few hours was nothing. Oh, really, Kim? I didn't even hear it. I was too busy. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. And I will see you guys when I see you. Bye.